straight out of Pakistan and straight in uh, Saudi Arabia. So there was a uh, where is it? So there was a Pakistani diplomat who ended up going to Saudi Arabia, and he was refused to enter Saudi Arabia because of his name. So I looked up. I was like, what? it's just a name what difference does it make you know like if you have uh, people double check you if your name was Osama or Laden or something like that then they would say okay we want to make sure he's not related to that evil character um, so but you would not refuse entry to them just because their name is Osama right you, you can do extra check but no this guy this outright denied him an entry into Saudi Arabia and he was a Pakistan diplomat look at this guy <laughs> <laughs> Akbar Zib was was refused an entry in Saudi Arabia because his name literally means biggest dick in Arabic. <laughs> his, his name is Akbar, as you know, Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest, the biggest. And instead of Allahu Akbar, his name was Zib Akbar. <laughs> and Zib means phallus. You know, the Willy Wonka, the little Johnson down there, <laughs> the mighty sword. <laughs> so, so that means he, he, his name literally mean big dick. <laughs> no, no, not big dick. Cause I think that he might've been given entry on that, but it, his name literally gives the Shahada, the testimony that he's the biggest dick, biggest. Now that means his dick is bigger than the king, the Muhammad bin Salman, bigger than everyone's dick. And how can they accept it? They can't accept that. That's an insult to them. So they said, no, you're not allowed entry. According to reports, a well-respected high-ranking Pakistani official has been rejected as ambassador to Saudi Arabia because his name Akbar Zib translates as biggest dick in Arabic. Sorry, uh, he, he's rejected to be an ambassador, not, not um, a refuse an entry. He can't be. He can't be an ambassador um, in Saudi Arabia to represent Pakistan. So I was like, imagine if, um, but, but you know, there is a name very famous. I think it's a Swedish name, but I've seen in um, uh, some Westerners have it too. And I guess they, have, they would probably have Swedish ancestry. That there, There's a name called Lund, L-U-N-D, -L Lund. Like this Australia, famous Australian uh, uh, TV personality. His name is Jules Lund. And there's obviously the, the, the famous Lund University um, in, in Sweden. Imagine pa these guys trying to come to India or Pakistan. <laughs> and, and they said, no, sorry, we can't let you enter the country. You can't be the ambassador to, uh, of Australia to Pakistan because your name means Jules Dick. <laughs> Lund is actually... A, it, it's, land is not equivalent to a word like penis or phallus. It literally means cock. <laughs> so, so this poor guy, I was like, I hope, I hope no Pakistani finds out. But now a lot of, because thanks to the internet, a lot of people now know that uh, it, it's a, a famous word in, um, in, in other cultures like land university. And I often wondered, you know, what would my name mean? Because, because names are a collection of sounds like ha, Riss. So does Riss mean something else in some Amazonian tribal language or some African tribal language or something or Aboriginal language, tribal language? Uh, does Riss mean dick or something and Ha means big or small or whatever? <laughs> so what would my name mean? <laughs> so I always used to wonder that. But, uh, you know, this is why I think now people, when you name your child, you should Google it. Whatever name you're putting, just make sure that, you know, it doesn't mean, so, uh, you know, something embarrassing in a different language. Um, but yeah, that's just, uh, that's just unfortunate for our friend, Mr. Akbar Zib <laughs> or Akbar Zib. <laughs> okay. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.